Hey everyone, welcome back to another update for my indie game about units. So I started off by redoing the grass textures. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with the sizing of it, but eventually I figured it out. I was using 16x16 16 16 sizing instead of 64x64, 64 64, so I, all I had to do is upscale it a little bit. And since it's pixel art, uh, the upscaling doesn't need to be perfect. So after I got the way better looking grass texture, I started working on the movement system. So it'll be similar to the system from last time where units will pick a random spot and try to go to it, but I'm in a modification where if there's an enemy, the units will go to that enemy and try to fight it. So I also did another enemy class, same thing as the infantry class, but it's in a different team and a different color scheme. Also wrote a system for finding enemy units where it looks through every single node and detects if it has the enemy group in it. I use groupings to make uh, detecting stuff easier. Overall, I've been learning a lot of cool stuff that you can do on Godot and I'm enjoying it so far. So after I get the enemy detection correct, I got the units to move to the enemy and do some damage to it and same thing for the enemy as well. So finds the nearest enemy by comparing the distance to every other enemy and after it finds the nearest enemy it goes to that enemy. I also made it so that collisions with the enemy will also damage the enemy. I particularly enjoyed the building documentation that Godot has, I found it to be very useful. However it was kind of annoying to get the documentation out because you gotta close it individually. Afterwards, I got the enemy detection system to work and I started doing damage. So I added a damage function where it takes away damage and if the health is at zero, it destroys itself. After a little bit of testing, here's the end result. Did you see that units immediately go towards the enemy and start doing damage to it? I also made it so that the units will start playing animation whenever there is attacking. And they go through them one by one, trying to get to the enemy. There's still a little bit of things I like to work on, especially with the collisions and the pathfinding, but all in all, it seems to be pretty fine. Thanks for watching this update. I know it's a little bit shorter than others, but I want to make short incremental progress rather than one overarching video covering everything. So make sure you stay in tune because I'll be covering pathfinding and collisions in the next episode.